Namibian president Haiga Gangup has passed away. The 82-year-old was the third president of Namibia since 2015. He was a former veteran of SWAPO who participated in the struggle to liberate Namibia. President Gangob was receiving medical treatment at Lady Pohamba Hospital in Vinduk, where he passed on. The Namibian, uh, the Namibian government says he was surrounded by his family at the time of his passing. His death comes just weeks after he was diagnosed with cancer. Acting President Dr. Nangolo Mbumba says the cabinet will convene immediately to make funeral arrangements. This year, Namibia will go to elections and Gangob was expected to hand over power after two terms in office. For more on the death of the Namibian president, we now speak to Sophie Mkwena, SABC News International Editor. Sophie, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what more do we know about the, the, these latest developments? Well, as you pointed out, uh, it was early this year where we were told that uh, President Gengob has got health challenges and he was diagnosed with cancer. And therefore, last week, uh, it was again announced that he will be traveling to the United States of America for treatment. He went there and he came back and it looks like it didn't really go well. And he was admitted to a hospital in Zendhuk upon arrival. And that's where he passed on, surrounded by his family. It was almost early hours of this morning when he passed on. And now we are told that uh, the acting president will be convening an urgent cabinet meeting this morning to make funeral arrangements, memorial, and perhaps uh, to communicate information in terms of where to from here. As you know, that uh, he was the leader of SWAPO and also uh, this year, Namibia is going to elections, and therefore uh, this is the time perhaps where the country was preparing for elections, and they will have to make certain arrangements. You know that uh, they have already SWAPO identified a presidential candidate who is currently the prime minister of uh, uh, the de deputy prime minister of SWAPO of Namibia. And also, she is the Foreign Affairs Minister of Namibia, Netumbu Nandi Ndaidwa. And therefore, I think uh, these are some of the things that they'll have to deal with because, as you know, that uh, SWAPO is a governing party, but also uh, it will have to prepare for elections. We know that uh, the Prime Minister is currently the acting uh, president, but uh, they must deal with issues of transition. And speaking of transition, Sophie, uh, how much of an impact will his death have on the organizing of the upcoming elections? Well, I think the good thing was that uh, since last year, SWAPO was already preparing for this transition and handing over. I don't think it will be a huge problem. As I pointed out, they had already identified a presidential candidate, Netumbo Nandin Daitwa. And therefore, I can't see any challenges. And I think uh, he was ready to leave office. And him having had challenges earlier this year, I think uh, that led to even a vigorous uh, process to ensure that there is smooth transition. You'd recall that he visited South Africa last year during the state visit in South Africa. He also pointed out that uh, he will be leaving office in 20. 24, and therefore we expect uh, SWAPO to uh, continue to campaign and that presidential candidate will continue to be Netumbo Nandin Daito. Let's talk about uh, his legacy. I know his, his death is still so fresh, especially for Namibians, but let's talk about his legacy since he took over office in 2015. And uh, we do understand that uh, uh, Namibia condemned former colonial ruler Germany for rejecting a case at the UN's top court, accusing Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. Just, uh, you know, how much of an impact will this have on the international relations of Namibia when it comes to, you know, the ongoing case at the ICJ? You know, that has been involved with uh, government since 1990 to 2002, where he was the first prime minister. And then again in 2012 to 2015, and in 2015, that's when he became uh, the president. And therefore, he has a strong legacy in terms of uh, building Namibia, 
Mm. But also there are people who will share a different view, as you know, that uh, there is now uh, opposition parties, including the EFF uh, Namibia, in, in, in that parliament. And you'd recall during that uh, uh, news where there was uh, a story around the Palapala uh, matter where the president's uh, farm, uh, in relation to the president's farm, he was also mentioned and uh, uh, the opposition local demanding uh, answers the role that he played in terms of uh, those people who fled to Namibia who were that in that uh, uh, robbery or perhaps one can say uh, house breaking at the president's farm. And therefore, I think, yeah, those are the issues that comes to mind now. But generally, he has worked to put Namibia where the country is. All right, Sophie, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your update. We do appreciate your time. Your call has been placed on hold. All right, that was uh, SAPC News International Editor Sophie Mkwena just confirming the news and uh, giving us more details about uh, the death of Namibian President Haige Gango, who died in the early hours of this morning.